Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart is an incredible roller coaster experience that I cannot recommend enough. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of hidden stories to discover, but there is one that I think is worth covering. The search for the Lombaxes, and more specifically, Ratchet's father Caden and his legacy. The main narrative of Rift Apart is Clank developing the Dimensionator device to help Ratchet find the whereabouts of his race known as Lombaxes and discover that legacy of his father. Caden was originally the keeper of the Dimensionator, a great inventor who warned the Lombax species of the betrayal of one Emperor Tachyon. He ushered them into a safe dimension hidden away but was unable to join his species, he had to instead keep the Dimensionator safe. It was eventually destroyed, his wife perished at the hands of the Emperor, and he, in his final confrontation with Tachyon, was killed. A lot more happened in between the games with a lot more characters, but for our purposes, this is all you need to know. In Rift Apart, Ratchet is uncomfortable with this idea presented to him by Clank of meeting other Lombaxes, fearing that he might not live up to his true family. Pretty cool, right? And just think, once we forge this thing and save the dimension, you'll have a whole universe to explore. How are you not afraid of the future? With all of its unknowns. I do get, uh... You asked me on Savali if I wanted to find my family. For a long time, I did. I mean, I really did. But the closer I got to doing that, what if they're not what I expected? What if I'm not what they expected? I just... Anyways. During his journeys, the pair discover the planet Savali, a Lombax outpost that contains hidden secrets of the Lombax species, and even within their archives, something that could help Ratchet find his people in the form of hidden messages. Oh, good. The dimensional map is safe. I'd know this writing anywhere. Lombaxes. They must have built this. My dad was the keeper of the Dimensionator. The original one, anyway. He gave everything to keep it out of the wrong hands. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Do you miss them? The Lombaxes? Kinda hard to miss someone you've never met. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, I guess I do. I understand. Perhaps one day you will find them. Let's figure out if we can even build the Dimensionator first. Can we? Yes. But the forge needed to do so is located at Kadaro Station, the most secure outpost in the galaxy. Well then, let's get moving, KT-74. Ah, there is one of our senior archivists. Whoa, can it be? A brother Lombax? You, uh, know we're not related, right? Cha, we are, by our mutual thirst for knowledge. Check this out. A shrine the Lombax has built ages ago, containing a lorb stuffed with ancient info. But only a Lombax can unlock its secrets. If you could bring me three lorbs, I'll hook you up with a sweet piece of armor I dug up. A Lombax shrine? I'll totally help. Radical! One last thing. Shrines won't open if there are bad vibes nearby, so if there are, you'll have to clear them out. After discovering all 12 relics hidden through Savali, Ratchet will figure out exactly where the Lombaxes are, and we get some insight into some of the interdimensional shared universes that the Lombax visited. I don't even... You just helped save Lombax history for generations. My brothers and I, thank you. It was an honor, brother. So, I had a weird meeting this morning. Caden came in. Apparently, the council liked my mapping work on Savali enough that 
they want me to expand it by mapping every dimension in existence. Yeah, that might be impossible. Okay, I thought about it over lunch. I don't think it's that impossible. I'll just need the Dimensionator, which Caden loaned me, a year and three weeks, which has already been approved, and to never sleep again. Work starts tomorrow. Mapped my first dimension today. Pretty standard stuff, except the colors there were so vivid, like, whoa. And there were these creatures. One of them even looked like a Lombax, but, but he had smaller ears, a mask, and a cane, and I think he was pulling some kind of heist. Whatever it was, it looked cool. Second dimension down, not as colorful as the first one, but the creatures were definitely stranger. Their bodies were made out of all these old relics, but, but they could break apart and still be alive. It was so wild, and, uh, and now I wish I had asked Caden for more time. I, I just want to learn the stories of all these dimensions. Second dimension down, not as... Third dimension was cubes. Really, really smart cubes. <laughs> Don't know what else to say there, except that I might have to stop doing these for every dimension I visit, because there's a little bit less than an infinite amount left, and I could have mapped 32 in the time since I started talking. Yeah, okay, bye. Good news, mapping's going well. Bad news, uh, apparently not well enough, because Caden just asked me to go faster. He wouldn't say why, but he, he sounded stressed, so I let it go. <laughs> faster. Yeah, okay, like it's that easy. Well, good thing I stopped doing those recordings. Wait, I'm doing one now. Ah. I know I was going to stop doing these recordings, but I can carve out some time every once in a while. Because I'm a genius. Dimension 31X7, not super different from home, but there were these creatures. One was firing a gun and spinning himself around every other second, while the other hung out on his shoulder doing live commentary. Oh, I wanted to hang out with them so badly. I finally figured out a way to map even faster. Caden uh, might kill me, but listen, instead of all the cranking and pulling a trigger to use the Dimensionator, I just converted the whole thing into a helmet that runs on voice commands. I mean, he can't argue with the results, and if he does, I'll just complain about it here. Dimension 242Y8, quite possibly the cutest dimension I've ever seen. Oh, the inhabitants were all made out of wool, I think. Uh, they could literally make anything. And there was a, a really pleasant voice following me around everywhere. Oh, it was incredible. Oh, and what's even better? I think I'm finally close to mapping my last dimension. So tomorrow I'm going to sleep in for an hour because... I'm done, baby! I mapped every single dimension in existence! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I can't wait to see Caden's face when I give him the map. Then tell him that I'll be going back to all those dimensions soon. There's still so much I can learn! Uh, I, I found out why Caden has been so stressed lately. Something bad's going on. Uh, bad enough that we need to hide as many Lombaxes as we can. And, I guess, uh, all of my mapping work was to help find the perfect dimension for us to hide in, so, yeah, hope I didn't screw anything up. This is my final recording. If you're listening to this, that means you didn't make it to the new dimension with us, and, and I'm so sorry. We're, we're trying hard to get everyone now, but our race is scattered across so many dimensions, it's... This is not farewell. I left a copy of my dimensional map in the archives, and, and I marked down where we're all going. I, I, I wish I could have left you a Dimensionator too, but... Uh, hey, I'm only one Lombax. I hope you find your way back to us, and if you do, please look me up. The name's Mags, and I'd love to hear your story. A keen observer will know that Mags the Lombax visited the world of Knack, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, and even Sock Boy. But more importantly, Mags, who we'll likely see in the next game or even a DLC, has left a way for Ratchet to find his people through a map. Unfortunately, Emperor Nefarious destroys the archives and takes their one map to find that hidden dimension. Only after Ratchet, Clank, Rivet, and Kit all join forces are they able to defeat the Nefarious pair, get the map back, and Ratchet 
can finally find his family. Hey, buddy. When all this is over, will you help me find the Lombaxes? Of course, Ratchet. Uh, you changed your mind? Maybe. I don't know. Before today, I thought the Dimensionator could only bring me trouble. But without it, we would have never met Rivet or Kit. I think that means something. I guess it's time to go home, huh? Yeah. Our Dimension could use a couple heroes right about now. Well, how would you two feel about making a pit stop on the way? Where are we headed? I think you know. Is that... us? Those final moments in those cutscenes show where I believe the game is going. Thanks to help from the robot known as the Fixer, the archives have been rebuilt in this plane, and Ratchet takes his girlfriend that he's had through most of the series, Talwin, to find Mags and those hidden Lombaxes. What could this mean for Ratchet and Clank going forward? I'm excited to find out. If you'd like to see more content like this, I got a couple of ideas swarming around my head, including the story of a killer undersea electrical porcupine and her robot friend. Keep watching for more.